Hey guys, this is Gabe Dimmick from the Baseball Rebellion, and today I'm going to break down high school prospect Blake Rutherford. He's an outfielder from Southern California, and uh, he's likely to go early on in the first round of the 2016 draft. Uh, he's got a good frame. I think he's 6'2 or 6'3, uh, 190 pounds, and he's going to fill that out as he gets into pro ball. Um, and so one of the things that a lot of scouts uh, look at it, and they try what they're trying to figure out is can this guy go from high school, you know, playing with a metal bat to professional baseball with a wood bat and be successful and so you know a lot of times they'll look at athleticism and and you know their body type and their frame and things like that and you know they can look at their high school numbers but sometimes those uh, can be a little bit uh, misleading depending on the opponents they're playing and maybe they're just bigger and stronger than everybody else but when you get to that next level that you know really two levels up into the the professional ranks uh, some of those things don't work out as well and so lots of scouts have gotten you know, fired over bad signings, and so um, you know, with some of what they're trying to do is make sure that they're they're getting the right guys. And so we all wanted to look at some draft uh, picks and some of the top prospects and uh, do some breakdowns. And so Blake Rutherford really caught my eye because he does some things in his swing that I I really see at the highest level, and I think that he has a really good chance to uh, to to make it to the big leagues and, and to have a long career. I think Baseball America had him uh, slated to go to the Tampa Bay Rays, so we'll see how it shakes out uh, come Thursday. But let's go ahead and go through two swings here. And, and the second one is actually going to show you how he adjusts to breaking pitches, which is really important at the next level. Um, but the first one is going to be a fastball. And so um, one of the things we see here is that you know he has kind of a wider stance. Okay, but he uh, he moves out of that really well. So one of the keys is I'm, we're fine with this kind of negative move, this rock back, as long as the back knee stays inside the back ankle. And you're going to see he does that. So the back knee's inside the back ankle. And the reason that's important is he's not going to get stuck back here. He's going to let his body move forward from here. So let's watch how that happens. So you're going to see his head. You're going to see his, his torso. He's going to lift his leg. And you're going to see his head and his torso move forward. Okay, so it's very calm. It's not fast. It's not jumpy, but you can definitely see him getting forward to that front side. Okay, so you know some coaches might think he's lunging here, but I think he's actually in really good shape. So right here, you're going to see his back leg being very long. Okay, so one of the drills that we uh, use a lot online is called the back leg angle drill, where this back leg is taught to be pretty long like this, and that's where we get it. We get it from from swings like this. So really nice job generating some momentum and moving forward into his, his stride. Um, and then this is one of the most impressive parts of his swing is what we, we tend to look for is the, the hips and the pelvis to really start turning toward the pitcher as the back shoulder, back elbows start to come down, tilt down, and the front shoulder starts to come up. But we don't want to see a ton of turn in the upper body um, as the lower body turns. And, and this is what we're going to see here. So we're going to see, boom, his belt line. You can see the center of his belt. Really watch that how open that gets compared to the numbers on his jersey. So numbers on his jersey are facing, you know, way, way over here. So he, th that hasn't turned nearly as much. So he gets a really nice separation here. Uh, you can think about, if you think about where his chest is, his chest is facing here. Again, his belt line is, is way up that uh, third base line, and, and he's getting a ton of separation. So, so much in his swing, so much of the power is actually being created very early on. I mean, you can see that the barrel is still up here with his upper body just ready to be launched uh, down in the way of the catcher's mitt and then kind of turn up in the way of the ball and he's just kind of ready to go so so much of that power so much of the the energy is created right here as that back hip really turns and the upper body stays closed now from there uh, with the lower half one of the things that we talk a lot about is the hip thrust and a lot of parents and, and coaches and kids, when we first talk to them about the back hip thrusting up and forward and what that does to the back foot, that it actually comes off the ground and pulls forward, they kind of look at us like we're crazy. And I always usually tell them that. I say, hey, I know you, you probably think I'm crazy right now, but hear me out. Watch some of these videos. And so, you know, Rutherford's a guy would be happy to show them because he does a phenomenal job of this. So watch how he pulls that back hip, really thrusts it. Doesn't just turn it, but he thrusts it up and forward. So watch his back foot. Watch what it does. So it's actually going to pull off the ground. So this is just after contact. This is just before. You can really see that back foot off the ground. It has a lot of movement here. But again, it's not from the foot. It's from the hip. And the hip really, really turns and, and pulls forward as the front leg straightens here. So front leg is straight, back foot off the ground, 
super nice lean back here. You know, one of the things we also look for is for his head to remain still as he turns. So let's check his head movement. Um, and a lot of people are afraid of that forward stride, but you don't have to be as long as the head remains still as he turns. And that's what we see. So we see some head movement in the stride, but we see very st a lot of stillness in the head as the turn is happening. And this is a very fluid, athletic, powerful swing that resembles many of the best hitters in the game. Okay, um, so let's watch his barrel path now. So that's another key thing is that we want to swing, you know, slightly up to the ball because the ball comes in down. So his path kind of comes down back here by his shoulder. You're going to see that bat kind of travel in the way of the catcher's mitt. So if the ball, I'm going to change colors here. If the ball comes in, um, you know, kind of down here on this path to the catcher's mitt, he's going to swing up, change colors back. He's going to swing up here through the ball. And he's going to swing kind of over that shoulder, uh, and he holds on with two hands and finishes his turn really well. So he keeps his chest moving, keeps his body turning. It's very fluid. It's very, um, you know, the, the force is applied very well with the lower and the upper half synced up well together, and it turns into a really nice swing. Now, I'm going to let you play this one. I'm going to play this one full, kind of full speed. It's in slow motion, but I'm going to play it fluidly because while sometimes you miss some of those small things like the back foot moving and some of the, the kind of, technical things I pointed out when you play at full speed you can see the feeling of the swing kind of the fluidness of the swing whether it looks choppy kind of how it looks and let's watch this and I think it looks really smooth and really powerful and that's something that I know scouts uh, really look at as well um, so very very nice right there into a swing so this next video we're going to get to uh, is, is also really important and it's going to look a little different and the thing that's going to be different about it is going to be his adjustment so uh, one of the things that can be harder for certain guys is to hit higher level change ups and off speed pitches uh, curveballs you know they, most of the time they get you with speed not with the movement and so uh, being able to figure out a way to delay your turn when you're off on your timing is important and, and so he displays the ability to do that right here so we saw in the last one he kind of landed and went right well in this one we're gonna see him move forward and right at about here last time we would see his hips turn this direction okay but instead of that what we see is him really kind of sink forward into that front leg okay so a lot of coaches think that you should adjust the off-speed pitches by keeping your weight kind of over your back leg and then trying to use your hands. But that is not really what the best players do. What they do is actually move forward. They're timed it for a fastball. Oh man, it's a breaking ball. So instead of going ahead and turning and being early and, and hitting off the end or missing, they sink in just like this. So they delay their turn just like this. So I'm kind of playing this over and over because this is kind of a game changing uh, part of the swing right here that a lot of people miss. He's really sinking into that front side. Now it's time to go. Now the ball's gotten closer, and watch those hips. It allows that same sequence we saw in the first swing to happen. Hips get way ahead of the shoulders, allowing that barrel to have a lot of energy to, that it, to where it's about to be launched through. You can see that back knee really turning in. That's a good indicator of his separation here. Uh, bent front knee here. And from there, we're going to see that hip. Again, just like in the last one, thrust forward. Watch that back foot come off the ground right here. Um, you know, at contact, awesome lean back here, straight front leg. This is a really good swing. His hands stay really high in his turn. That, that allows his bat to come up. So you can see his bat's below the ball. And it's going to come up through the ball. And that's something that, uh, that you know, a lot of guys don't, don't really know how to do. And keeping the hands at high at chest level is key to this. Now, I have seen some other swings on him uh, where he, it was a lower pitch. Both of these were a little bit of higher pitches or, or belt high pitches. And on the lower ones, Sometimes he would tend to drop his hands down by his belt uh, instead of really getting his shoulder in there like we would want. So on a low pitch, he could get to do a better job of really getting his shoulder in there so the hands can remain high because uh, I think his swing path isn't quite as good when the pitch isn't, isn't up like this. But on these two swings, I mean, he showed the ability to do some really special things. And uh, I'm excited to, to see him. I really hope he gets drafted high in the first round. I'm a Yankees fan, so I hope he falls to them. But uh, I kind of doubt that will happen. But we'll see. Um, so, you know, he, uh, you know, whoever gets him is, is going to have a really good swinger and hopefully they don't try to change him too much. Like a lot of teams try to change, change guys once they, they're, they kind of get into the organization. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching this breakdown. Let us know if you have any questions. Um, and you know, feel free to, uh, to comment on the article on any of these prospects that we're, we're breaking down and, uh, we'd love to hear from you.
Thank you.